Recording, yes. Voice, yes. Let's go. Oh no, I just smudged the lens. <sighs> Lads, lassies, welcome back to the YouTube. And today, welcome to a tutorial. And not just any tutorial. Today, we're going to learn how to do a chrome ob off a kicker. Now, if you do it switch, which is most common, I'm actually going to get to that in a minute, it's called a skeezer. So this is a skeezer and a chrome ob tutorial all at once. Now, before we get into it, I want to say thank you so much for watching all the videos from the Philippines. I think we had seven or eight pretty sweet videos uh, and the feedback is really good. So definitely going to have to head out there again soon. Probably not for another year, realistically. But nonetheless, this is the last video from there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, as the footage was shot there, but now I'm obviously back in the world's best country. Ireland. Ireland. The chrome up. So I'm going to use this cooking utensil. It's a cooking stick, I think it's called. Um, it's actually very like uh, a handle because it's wooden and probably ruins my hands. But anyway, effectively, the biggest thing about this chrome up is that you're going to need two basics. You're going to need to be able to do a toe side 360. It doesn't matter if you pre-spin on it, it doesn't matter if it's not the most legit because the most important part is actually the landing where you land with the rope behind your back, aka blind. And if you don't know how to do that, I do have a tutorial which will be linked in the description. The second thing you're gonna The second thing you're gonna be oh my goodness. The second thing you're gonna need to be able to do is a scarecrow. Now I don't actually think I've done a scarecrow tutorial for a kicker on my channel, but on Bally Hass's channel I've definitely done one, so I'll link it below. So they're the two basics, and when you have them down and they're so consistent, and I mean really consistent, because this is a hard trick and it's very technical, and yes, you could try it at a very kind of intermediate stage in your wakeboarding, but you're just gonna waste your time. So honestly, if you can do 20 toe threes in a row or 20 switch back ones in a row, once that landing's the same, and you can do 20 scarecrows in a row, then you're at the level to try this. All right, so how to actually do the trick. So you're gonna to wanna to start underneath the cable. For all the tricks to kicker, you either wanna start on the far side or at least under the cable. Now the biggest difference, and I'm gonna kinda of point out three main things in this tutorial, is the approach. You wanna actually put a lot more weight through your back arm than you would on a normal scarecrow. The reason for this is because it creates better tension for when you go to blind. So you're adding probably, I'm gonna say, 40% more weight in your back arm, which seems like a lot, but trust me, it's good. Then as you approach the kicker, you wanna ride up. To flip it, just like you would in a scarecrow, you flip off your toes, you flip into the scarecrow, everything is all good. Now the main point, which is number two, is that you wanna keep your second hand on literally forever. Like you never wanna take that second hand off. If you watch in slow-mo, you'll see my hand stays on right until the end. For point number three is when you spot the landing to turn blind. So this is the hardest part because people don't know whether it, their scarecrow is good enough to turn to chrome ob. But the thing is, if you can spot about one or two feet above the water, then you have enough time. So if you see that one or two feet, it's good enough for it. You wanna pull with the handle, hip up to it, you wanna look around just like you would a toe three, set this arm in front of you, look at the far shore, boom. That is literally it. Now, obviously it's not that easy, so we're gonna go a bit more into detail about it. I think the easiest thing to do is talk about some of the most common issues that go wrong. And now I don't have clips to, to kind of associate with this, but hopefully you can visualize in your brain. Um, so the most common thing is that people will take their front hand off the cooking stick too early. So you'll see people take off and their arm will go like this. That is just a complete no-no because the reason being is the handle's gonna get away from you, away from you, away from you, and then if you look how far that is, when you go to turn the blind, it's gonna pull you there, you're gonna get a back edge, it's gonna hurt, and then you're gonna go to hospital, and then it's gonna cost you loads of money, and it's just a nightmare, so just keep two hands on longer. The second thing is hands come up high. Now this one, yeah, it's excusable, but realistically, 
it's gonna make it less consistent in the long run. So if you can, on every trick, try and push your handle down to your hips because that's your center of gravity. So the more the handle's there, the more likely you are to ride away and not die. The third thing that happens, which is the most common thing because they're all the most common thing that happen, is you'll land and then you'll fall back onto your heels or onto your back. Now, being completely straight with you, lad to lassie, lassie to lad, it's because you're being a pussy and you're not really committing because the reality is, if you can get to this position, then there's no reason that you can't get your tits over your toes, as they say, basically get your chest forward, look at the far shore. There is no excuse for that, um, unless your hand's coming off early. But if you've got your two hands on, you're doing everything correctly, then there's, there's no excuse. And I'm sorry to, to say it how it is, but sometimes you gotta be, gotta be real with the lads and the lassies. Now, my last tip, um, and this one is also something that sometimes gets forgotten. Myself, I'm actually guilty of not mentioning this enough. And it's when you land to really absorb your knees. Your knees need to act like suspension. So it's not, it's actually quite a funny one. So people say knees bent, but actually I think the correct thing is knees bending because knees bent, they can still be rigid and they're not absorbing the landing like a suspension. So instead, really over exaggerate bending the knees, absorbing it, particularly off a kicker because like those landings are pretty heavy. Uh, that's going to be probably the most common mistakes that people are going to do. So basically the arm coming off too early, uh, not pushing down so the handle coming up above, not fully committing and then of course not bending the knees. So they're the main things. That's it really. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's kind of short, it's kind of sweet, but I think if you're at the level of learning this trick, you'll probably be able to make sense of this tutorial and it will definitely, definitely help you to get it. And um, if you have any questions, comment below. I'll make sure to be involved in the comments always for the first 24 hours. Then it gets a little bit more difficult because new videos go up, but I will make my best efforts to get back to you. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks to this spoon. Also, thanks to JB O'Neill for the clips. He filmed me a lot when I was there. See you in the next video.